The M2 Bradley Fighting Vehicle is a lightly armored, fully tracked transport vehicle that provides cross-country mobility, mounted firepower, and protection from artillery and small arms fire. It is used in mechanized infantry and armored cavalry combat. The Bradley Fighting Vehicle family currently consists of two vehicles, the M2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle and the M3 Cavalry Fighting Vehicle. The M2 is nominally used to carry infantry into battle but is frequently misidentified by people as a tank. This is understandable, as the tracked vehicle currently tips the scales at 33 tons from all the add-on armor it has received, and bristles with both a 25mm Bushmaster automatic cannon and a tow anti-tank missile launcher. The M2 Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle has a welded aluminum armor hull. Front arc has a spaced laminated aluminum and steel armor construction. Initial variant M2 provided protection against 14.5 mm armor-piercing rounds over the front arc. All-round protection was likely to be against 7.62 mm to 12.7 mm rounds and artillery shell splinters. Eventually protection level was increased on upgraded models. Upgraded vehicles are also fitted with explosive reactive armor blocks that withstands hits from RPG rounds. The M2 Bradley is also fitted with NBC protection system. Vehicle is armed with a two-man turret, fitted with a 25mm dual-fed Bushmaster chain gun. At the time of its introduction, the Bradley was the first infantry fighting vehicle with a fully stabilized main gun. The gun fires both armor-piercing and high-explosive rounds. There is a TOW anti-tank guided missile launcher loaded with two missiles. There is also a coaxial 7.62mm machine gun. Interestingly, during the U.S. military actions in Iraq, since 2003 until 2011, the Bradley series armored vehicles destroyed more Iranian armored vehicles than Abrams' main battle tanks. The original Bradley accommodated six dismounts. There was a rear power-operated ramp with integral doors for entry and exit. Early models of the M2 Bradley had firing ports with dedicated 5.56mm assault rifles attached. These firing ports were removed on upgraded models in order to increase protection of the side armor. Original version of this infantry fighting vehicle was powered by a Cummins turbocharged diesel engine developing 500 horsepower engine is located at the front it is mated to an automatic transmission the m2 is amphibious with the use of swim barrier swimming capabilities can be improved by the erection of inflatable buoyancy tanks on water the bradley is propelled by spinning its tracks variants m2a1 developed in 1986 it was fitted with TOW-2 anti-tank guided missiles of new generation. Vehicle was also fitted with explosive reactive armor blocks and improved NBC protection system. M3 Bradley Cavalry Fighting Vehicle, basically an armored reconnaissance vehicle. It is operated by a crew of three and accommodates two scouts. Externally, it is similar to the M2 Infantry Fighting Vehicle. M6 Linebacker Short Range Air Defense Vehicle, carrying four Stinger Surface to Air Missiles instead of the Tow Anti Tank Missile Launcher. It entered service with the U.S. Army in 1997. M7 Bradley Forward Observation Vehicle. This variant was designed to replace the M981 Forward Observation Vehicle. The M7 is generally similar to the M2. However, its launcher unit for tow anti-tank missiles has been replaced by target location equipment and other sensors. M270 MLRS Multiple Launch Rocket System, based on the Bradley chassis. While it has been in service for nearly 40 years, the M2 Bradley fighting vehicle has often been described as a fighting platform no one wanted or really needed. 
It had a protracted development history that began in the early 1960s just as the M113 armored personnel carrier was entering service. Earlier this year, the United States Army ended its optionally manned fighting vehicle program, the most recent effort to replace the Bradley. The U.S. military had sought to replace the M2 Bradley twice before and in the process has spent $20 billion to develop a replacement. As a result, the Bradley will likely remain in service for at least another decade.